Yeah, this is another Beatrice de Virant. <coughs> but this one is towards the west. What I mean by west, I mean, you know, western countries. America, Canada, UK, even my, my own backyard, Australia. It is... In, it is an utter sense of... It's more towards uh, the cartoon side of things. I am an anime fan. I love great anime. I've you've seen posts. So let me see. Sorry about this. I should have been a bit more prepared. Ah, yeah. Something over here. Yes. This is a Naruto headband. It's a, it's a village in in the mist, not in the mist, in the rainfall, rainfall uh, waterfall, yeah. <coughs> but the the episodes I'm most discussing are bad because of cultural differences. Well, you take a look at, in, for instance, in Pokemon. The, the the pocket type, the pocket monster known as Jinx. It is a humanoid cut. It is a humanoid looking monster. It's like putting. It is virtually saying my, not my body, but you know a like a certain. Uh, it, it does look a bit of the African. Uh, it doesn't look at all like an African American, but uh, it gets that. They go, oh, it looks like an African American. You better not show it because it shows in cultural. It's, it shows total disrespect to the African American. Hey, you are an idiot. It is absolutely appalling. The Jinx is what is actually quite a lovable character. It looks like a doll. My grandmother had. That's what it looks like. A mere doll. There's nothing ill will towards any ethnic group of people. So, in that sense, the West, you better get, get your head out of your politically correct backsides it is just a cartoon figure it is just a fiction fictional character it is very much it, it, you don't uh, see it actually you do you hear about banned episodes of one anime other different anime, some other sort of anime, because of either a character wearing too much, decided to do, you know, paint the face black, wear like a black attire, and they go into one 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 um <coughs> area or another to fit in with uh, a certain group. Well. <coughs> It's it's just that it, it doesn't it has nothing to do with dark skin people at all. Nothing. Honestly, <clears throat> you take a look at well, if that's the case, then you might as well. 
to say to the great Muda when he came to America and wrestled all over the world you would say to him uh, Muda can you wear another color face paint besides black because we are afraid to offend our native people or people that we've exploited a couple of hundred years ago and if that does happen you'll hear him say you can get lost it is just a pigment that I decide to wear like the char like the people who decide to have the Jinx character originally it is just a color of skin for that particular Pokemon <clears throat> and you get it you get up in arms because of it this is more of a heavy set heavy towards Pokemon because I have learned that in the westernized world the banning of certain images is just absolutely ridiculous I have also learned that in a <coughs> that a one of the cards depicting a bat type had a sim had a Buddhist symbol for peace. The Buddhist symbol for peace and that's it. But due to the <clears throat> a similar looking uh, political image from from Germany in the during the first and second world wars they said oh we better change the design of that little Buddhist symbol because we want to get our Jewish people involved we want to get this group of people we want to get that group of people well I'll tell you this you are not going to please everyone Keep that damn symbol translated to English, but that's that's the only thing we can do. Keep the damn symbol. Also, if oh, if you go and change episodes or various other things like that, you have to change everything including the opening titles I do remember watching season one of Pokemon when it came to Australia this is before the World Trade Center bombing and after the World Trade Center bombing it was the Tentacruel and Tentacruel destroying a <coughs> destroying a seaside port or a town but after the bombing, that, that it's very rare at times to to see that because of the fact that it destroyed a town not with planes. There's no plane references in there. It was these jellyfish type Pokemon that came in kick some ass Ash and his friends saved the day and they went on their merry way but you know those political bullshit types they said oh oh boy <clears throat> uh, mama that town getting destroyed the city getting destroyed by a unknown force oh boy um, mm, I know we want to show that episode for some time or ever 
What? It's not like a giant bloody squid, octopus, jellyfish came out of the water and decided to lay lay havoc in Manhattan. If that did happen, then I would say yes, of course. Uh, better is get on the side of caution and not show it. But this is an anime. It is a cartoon. Get your head out of your ass. A big monster swings and like swings a tentacle and knocks a building. Hell, you guys were shown Godzilla movies at the same time. The one you know, the one starring the white actor Matthew Broderick. And that guy who stars as Moe's, his like, voice, Hank Xeria. And that crazy French fellow, I forget his name. But you would allow that on the TV because it is what, a movie? But yeah, guess what? It is a lizard destroying freaking New York City. Hell, even the US Army destroyed a few of the buildings in, in that movie. But I digress. It is a cartoon of a fictional animal or a fictional group of animals coming into a fictional town or city and laying waste. Versus a fictional animal coming in and destroying a real life city in a movie which one do you think would not be shown I would say leave Godzilla out for a while and show this innocent cartoon with a little bit of destruction that's a more of a PG PG type t scenario but it is a cartoon Get your head out of your ass. Also, <clears throat> guns. Oh, please. Over here in Australia, we had a thing called the Port Arthur Massacre. But there's still cop shows around showing, you know, guns and gun and gun play. But, oh, oh, it really drives me nuts to have to see on TV a group of well-known actors, well, well-known TV actors, run in, you know, freeze. We're here. We have you surrounded, we have these, you know, the usual cop show is saying. But, if a cartoon has a depiction of a real gun, no, 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 mm -mm. no, no, we better not show the kids guns, ooh, no. Get a bloody life, get your head out of your ass. Now, you look at the news. You see more violence in the news than you do in anime. Or in cartoons in general. Let's see. I do remember watching a couple of years ago the Iraqi, not the Iraqi, a oh, couple of scenes of it a few Iraqi people getting uh, bombed and that also uh, Afghanistan I've even seen historical footage of a Vietnamese young lady running naked with, with scars she is scarred her body was blistered 
boiling. She had third degree, four, second degree, first degree burns. She was running down the street naked. But it's okay to show that. It is okay. Oh. It, it is this type of hypocrisy I cannot stand. It is okay to show at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Even earlier, five o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon, images of warfare, real life blood and guts, real life burning bodies, and it's all shown within an, within the comp, within the hourly rate of a kid watching it on TV. A kid can see a, a like a kid over overseas. I'm talking about ABC America. I'm talking about Channel Seven Australia, BBC in the UK. I'm literally going all out in a blit. I'm trying to keep cool, calm. But this really, really infuriates me to think that people in the West. Are that blind to the fact that oh we can show people getting blown up here in in the war we're here we're, we're more than happy to see a mother holding her dead child in this sense but on this other hand we better not show a gun that can fire a bullet in a cartoon. W what the hell? What m what mindset? What stupid form of thinking? Uneducated, unintelligent way of thinking would get people to think like that. I, as you can see with the with the uh, with the symbol of the cross around my neck, I am a Christian. More instead, I'm a Protestant. And we teach about the the beating and the nailing of Jesus Christ. We have wars in in, in the Bible, but we're more than happy to preach about that. I'm not, as I said, I'm not putting down Christianity. Christi Christianity preaches good values. But yeah, we preach about a, a young kid killing a soldier. We, you know, this group of people killing this other group of people. This other group of people going to exile. This other group of people being, you know, leaving, the, leaving certain areas. But that's a part of my faith. I was taught that as a little kid. But this more goes towards the unintelligent people who really, really think that it is okay to show to have the parents be educated and have the kids sit down and watch a bomb scene from a country far away where it is a father carrying his dead children or near dying children on his shoulders running away from a fireball than it is to show fictitious creatures bidding the unholy hell out of each other or even animal cruelty if you want to look at Pokemon in such light we need to really think. We in the West really need to think what is good. And I do believe the reason why the West is so screwed up at times is this hypocrisy 
in its in it, it's a simple hypocrisy. Oh, we better not show gun violence in a cartoon, but we're more than happy to show war on TV. Oh, we better not show a cartoon depicting a violent act towards the city, but we're more than happy to show a movie of a mythical lizard tearing a part of real life city. Get everything correct. Jinx is just a fictional animal. Animal. And to quote Jackie Chan from Russia, are you understanding the word that coming out of my mouth? Animal. That's what Jinx is. It's an animal. Not to be ever thought of. Also, get your head out of your backside when it comes to guns. Most of the time, they in those episodes, guns don't even get fired, they just get pointed. And that's it. Get your head out of your ass. Your TV execs, get your head out of your ass. Your parental groups get your head out of your ass. This is the worst sense of injustice since the PMRC and their uneducated attack against the music industry. And yes, if you want to say that so the people who stick up for anime are like the D Snyders. Well, guess what? Call me D Snyder. Hell, I like the guy anyway. You can call me Frank Zappa. You can call me Mr. Denver. Because those three stood up against the, the government's, well, well, one government for musical and lyrical rights to be sung I'm sticking up for the anime and what anime should be shown in its entirety in westernized countries if you want to censor some, something you better go to the full hog take cop shows off the air take everything to do with a gun off the air Period. And this how from whenever the news the nightly news finishes to about ten thirty at night all that time variety programs. Get a singer in, get a few dancers, even get some stupid comedians in. Because this is what you got. That's what the world is get, heading towards. Back to the 1950s, 1960s variety show time. Hell, sorry, start off with the with your reality TV shows. Get your head out of your ass. It is only a cartoon. And and I implore people who have a brain to stand up and fight for such a cause as you know I'm Rhino Barrows and this is my bare chest and beer rant <laughs>